Yeah, so I the camera angle might look a little weird. <laughs> I have to turn it around, but there's a reason that it looks kind of funky. Out of the blue, yeah. Porter decided that he wanted to start potty training, and I was not expecting it. I was not encouraging it. It just yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah. This past week, we've had several instances of me putting Porter down, to uh, nap or bed in his crib and him getting completely naked and taking his diaper off. Turn this we around. had, hang on, we had one incident of him pooping and then smearing the poop all over his crib. That was great. And then another one where he just peed everywhere. And I feel like those are clear signs of wanting to potty train, but he's just so young. Say it again, what'd you do? Are, are you going pee pee in the potty? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to potty train in the potty? Yeah, are you helping me to potty train him? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing such a good help. So, like I was saying, he's just so young. He's not even two and a half. He'll be two and a half in March. It's January. So, he's what, two years old and four months? When I first tried to potty train Gray, he was, actually, I guess it was about the same time. He was like two years old and like three or four months. So actually, it was about this time that I tried the first time to potty train Grayson. And I did it for a month and it was a hot mess. He peed everywhere. He was not ready. It was horrible. So then I stopped and tried it again a couple months before he turned three and he got it. This time, I was like, I'm not making that mistake again with Porter. I'm just going to wait until this summer when he's like closer to three and I'll just deal with it then. But Porter had other plans and decided he just wanted to do it now, which is kind of blowing my mind because I just had such a horrible experience with Gray. But I think it's helped that Porter has an older brother who he can watch go pee on the potty and so he wants to be like his brother he wants to go pee on the potty and also porter is very motivated by candy i feel like with grayson i had a hard time finding something to motivate him like a reward porter he just likes candy he knows if he goes pee on the potty he gets candy now he does like to take advantage of it and he'll pee like the tiniest bit and then he's like i want candy what I really need to do, and I was not prepared for this, so I don't have it. I really need to just go buy like M&Ms because they're tiny. All I have right now are like sicker, suckers and like huge like chocolate candy stuff. And so it's not feasible to like continuously give him these huge things of candy. But I'm making do with what I have because again, this came out of nowhere. I did not see this happening. So we're on day three of potty training now. And he's actually doing really well. We do have accidents here and there. I am still putting him in a diaper for nap time and bedtime. Obviously, he's in a crib. But he's doing really well. Just this morning, he told me he had to go pee and went over that and peed. Last night, we have like the potty always around us. We have I bought it like a little potty. That's like what stir like stirred all this on he saw that i bought him a little potty because i was just gonna get him familiar with it and he just went off with it um and last night he just went sat down peed without even like saying anything to any of us which is crazy like he's doing really well so i'm trying not to get my hopes up because i don't know this just seems like too easy like I'm waiting for the rug to get pulled out of under me. How is that expression? I don't know. But it is so crazy. He's doing so well. Now, this is horrible timing <laughs> because we are leaving to go on a trip to Florida in less than a week. So I don't want to, like, discourage him from potty training, but Anthony's parents are going to be watching the boys. Today is Saturday. They're going to go on Wednesday to, to Anthony's parents' house. 
so we'll see how far we get until then. Thankfully, this weekend is Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend, so it's a long weekend. We really don't have much plans, so ever since Thursday afternoon, that's when the potty training started, we've just been staying at home. I've been having Porter naked the whole time, and um, we've just been kind of laying low, so we did... The rest of Thursday, all day yesterday, we stayed home, and then all day today, we're going to stay home. We do have plans to go to Kosai tomorrow, so I might put him in a pull-up and just kind of see how he does in that situation. But that'll just be for half a day, and then we're staying home, and then we have no plans Monday. And then Tuesday, Gray just has preschool in the morning, and then Wednesday, they go to Toledo. So it's a lot of time at home. It's cold outside, we're not going out to play, we're not going out to the park. So it's a good excuse to just stay inside. We haven't, like, we aren't going outside anyway. The first time I tried po potty training gray, it was in the summer. I remember it was like in July and it was horrible because we couldn't go outside at all. We couldn't go to the park, we were stuck inside. It was beautiful out, it was horrible. So if you do potty train, I do recommend doing it in the winter because this is, so much better and I remember feeling that way with um, Gray too because I did his second time was in February when it clicked but yeah this is just shocking me I didn't see this coming he has for a couple weeks now been sitting on Grayson's potty Grayson has a potty up in his room and saying like I'm going to pee on the potty and so that's been encouraging but I didn't think he was like this ready for it he just seems so young like comment down below is this early is this normal like i don't know if this actually does happen and he does potty train this will be amazing because he'll be potty trained before the baby comes which means we'll only have one kid in diapers when porter came grayson was still in diapers we were doing two kids at once for like six months and then finally i got gray potty trained but if this happens the way it's happening we will only have one kid in diapers which is financially better and just less work. Um, I'm still amazed today that Gray will just up and go to the bathroom by himself and I don't have to like worry about him because that was just like such a huge part of my life for so long with potty training him. And it's just kind of shocking me how well it's going with Porter. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm keeping my expectations very low. But I probably won't be showing the kids too much just because we do have Porter naked. I follow um, Oh Crap Potty Training Book and they say to keep them naked a lot. And then we do have like, I have hand-me-down underwear and stuff from Gray. So um, if he continues to do well, I have um, pull-ups still that I kept from when Grayson did it because he really didn't need pull-ups that long because he caught on to it so much fast so I have those and I have underwear so we'll just kind of see how it goes but it's way easier to have him naked right now and just kind of getting that feeling down and I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing though so I don't know this is kind of crazy I, I never saw this happening so anyway like I said we really don't have much going on I do plan on vlogging tomorrow when we go to Kosai, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if that'll be in this vlog or I'll make a new vlog. Also, this weekend I have my next doctor's appointment. Um, it's my 28-week doctor appointment where I do the glucose test and all that, so I do plan on making a vlog for that. So I have a lot of things going on, getting ready for Florida, getting ready for the boys to go to Anthony's parents. Um, but in terms of the boys, they really don't have much going on. So we're just kind of hanging out at home, working on potty training. Grayson has been a big supporter of Porter, which is awesome. He's encouraging him. He's showing him how to go potty. He's... Um, cheering him on and so i definitely think that has helped a ton that porter has a role model to look up to it also probably helps that porter refuses to let me go to the bathroom by myself so he always sees me going to the bathroom on the potty too and just the fact that he constantly is taking his diaper off like i don't want it on you know like he doesn't like that feeling like that is encouraging so i'll just i'll keep you guys updated and we'll see how these couple days go, but I'm very excited. I might have two potty train kids. I don't know, this is crazy. 
Okay, Gray, show me. What did you make? Uh, a great big hide and scream out tunnel. He says it's a hide and seek tunnel. So that's pretty cool. He used some pillows and they climb under it and then they play hide and seek, huh? Oh, here goes Porter. I'm sorry, I have to make sure I don't show his. Peekaboo! Oh, there he goes. No, peekaboo. Peekaboo! <laughs> peek